Hey guys, this is the first episode of my new series, which is the A to Z Beginner's Guides, where I'm going to be explaining where heroes fit in the current meta, as well as giving you guys some recommendations to test out in try mode before taking these heroes into your games and really trying to put them to work. In this case, it is about Abathur, the first hero alphabetically in the roster. A really interesting hero, he's a secondary support who soaks side lanes during objectives, granting your team huge experience leads when these objectives end up going a little long. His common maps are really any map that has an objective that's really far from one of the lanes, allowing him to soak safely in one of the lanes while your teams are fighting over specific objectives. His current meta build is all based off of his shield talents, making it to where he can heal his allies with the shields that are on them, and then replace the shields and and still have the heals going as he's helping out other uh, heroes. Overall, he's a pretty powerful he hero and a little bit difficult to, to try out, so that's why we're going to show you how I recommend practicing him in try mode before we get into real games. So, I recommend going into try mode, and the first things that I would recommend is changing his level to at least 4. When you change level to 4, I like to go through and remove the ally hero, as well as I like to get the healing talents to start off. The first healing talent is the shield now heals, and the next talent is the shield will stay on even after the symbiote ends. The first thing you want to practice with uh, with Abathur is understanding about getting in range. You see how a minion just died there and I didn't get experience, but a minion died there and I got experience? Well, you need to be in range of the minions dying with your body, so you will need to get used to the range that minions will die. Practicing that is the first most important thing about playing Abathur, because half the reason you're picking him is that you can get experience in lanes that are away from fights. The next thing that I recommend practicing is using your Q on this minion right here, and understanding when you press your E, it starts healing them because of your talents that you picked. But then it goes on a long 12 second cooldown. But guess what? If I just turn off my my hat by pressing R, I can put it right back on and it's on a fresh cooldown. So you can quickly put on a shield, turn it off, and then uh, go back in and it resets the cooldown every time. So instead of waiting for a 12 second cooldown, you're simply just waiting for a 4 second cooldown, making it to where you can get the most amount of shields and the most amount of healing as much as you can. So with these two major aspects of body soaking as well as quickly reapplying shields, you're going to be a very effective side soaking healer for your team anywhere that your team is. In between the times that you're going to be healing, after you practice getting good at this, I recommend start practicing by putting down W's in areas that you might want vision. In this case, I like doing it in rotational areas, and then again, after the W's go out, simply go back in and keep shielding in between those areas. The final thing that I'd recommend practicing is quickly switching to a minion to gain soak. I oftentimes, if I want to push, I'll go to a frontline minion and attack really quickly, but if I just wanted to soak instead of pushing, I'll just put a hat on a quick backline minion before the minions die. This allows you, because your hat also will soak experience, and you can be a lot closer with your hat at a safer rate rather than soaking with your body. So being able to quickly heal one of your allies and then jump to one of the ally minions. Say for instance I want to heal this guy and then he got healed. I want to place down a couple W's and then I want to look to this area and quickly get some soak in this lane. As you saw I was able to get soak there, soak there. Alternating between these things allows you to soak in two different lanes while also helping out your allies. So I highly recommend practicing this essential aspect of healing an ally, turning off the heal, going to a minion soaking, positioning yourself so you're soaking things that are dying, as well as placing down Ws in different areas. There's one last mini tip that I like to do, which is placing Ws in lanes that are going to die. Let's say I turned off the enemy hero for a second. What I like to do is I can position it in a way where I'm close enough for the minions that die, and I can place a bunch of Ws into a lane, and when these go off, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to quickly gain experience by dealing damage to enemies. It's the last thing that I would recommend for people to do, especially if you're sitting in a lane that you know the enemies aren't coming into. Say, for instance, the objective is fighting down here, and you're sitting up here just trying to push a little bit. Quickly placing these Ws is one of the fastest ways to do this. Practicing all four of these things is the best way to get good at Abathur before you get into real games. I highly recommend everyone try these out and try out Abathur. He's one of my favorite heroes in the game, and he brings a lot to the table, uh, more than a lot of people think. Thank you all for watching, and feel free to check out a lot of my other videos.